What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Beyond Borders. Today we are doing a reaction video to the top 10 dishes to eat in Poland. So this is something that we've been wanting to watch for quite a while now to see what other dishes Poland has to offer and uh, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. This video will be about what we recommend you eat on your trip to Poland. Most of those dishes you can get in all parts of Poland, so wherever you plan on going, you're just going to need to pick the right restaurant and try it. Those of you... On a point, everyone that has said we should eat in Poland has said that we should not go to the commercial eateries and we should try the local food. Local that, traditional. Traditional food that's just outside of like the city centers, like in the old town, but just outside of the squares and go to like traditional like markets and yeah. traditional like what do restaurants. Like milk bar. A milk bar. So we will be going to hopefully a milk bar in Poland so that we can have what the locals eat. Because I didn't think that's why you go and do these things is to see what local people eat and what their cuisine is like. A taste of tradition. A taste of tradition. You who are here for the first time, my name is Martha from Cooking the World. We produce one video a week, so if you like what you've seen this far, I would appreciate if you click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell for we'll more content to our channel. about traditional food. Let's move to Polish dishes. Polish cuisine is rich in meat and winter vegetables. We eat a lot of potatoes, dumplings and grains. The preparation of most of the dishes is very time consuming, but on the other hand, it, it looks like, a like heaven. Ball. We will start with krokietki. Krokiet so they said that it a lot of, lot of vegetables, a yeah. lot of meat, and potato. a lot of potato. But she also says it's time consuming to prepare the dishes, which obviously means that they're preparing it from fresh ingredients and not good, good food takes time. Absolutely. Like if you want to go and eat at a fast food chain restaurant, by all means go for it. But the quality of the meal is not going to be as great as the ones that take longer to prepare. Like, I agree. That's fair. Here are pan breaded pancakes filled either with meat and vegetables Crookie. or sauerkraut. So it's a bread crumbed roll. Looks like it's deep fried with meat and beetroot soup. Wow. Okay. That looks very hearty and warm. It probably stains your teeth though. It's just, we've never, I mean, we saw someone yesterday on a bus drinking beetroot juice. And is it, do you think it's a big European thing? I don't like know. Like drinking beetroot? I don't, and I've never drank beetroot it, before. Well, I mean, it's I've, to put, I've put it in a smoothie before. Have we tried drinking it? No. Maybe we should. Maybe we should try and beetroot it, but beetroot, beetroot soup. It probably, uh, you probably should not wear a white shirt when eating or drinking that because it probably stains forever. But that, looks, that looks tasty though. The crook it looks amazing. They are served warm. With it almost looks like a sausage roll. No. No, not really. It's not, <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not flaky. But it, is that meat? Like, it's a bit of meat in the middle, and then it's, I think, like a bit of a pastry, and it's deep fried. It looks delicious. I wonder, do you do you dip it in the soup? Like, or... I don't know. Let's see what she says. It's clear beetroot soup on the side. The filling is very juicy, and they are very crispy no. from outside. You don't dip it. <laughs> it looks like she's drinking it, like, out of a... A coffee, a coffee cup, like you don't even have it with a spoon. But I don't think there's, there's like big pieces. I think it's purified. I think it's is, mainly like liquid. Yeah. Is is the beetroot soup just beetroot, or do they add like, or do you, or do the Polish add like other ingredients to it to make I, it more warty? I'd love to know how the beetroot soup yeah. is made because it just looks like they've blended it and then heated it up. But obviously, I think there's a lot more that goes into it. Me to make it more, but it looks purified. That's one thing I can see from the video. The next dish that is worth trying is pierogi okay. ruskie. Pierogi ruskie are dumplings. Mm. This is what we had. We had the pierogi mm. and it was really tasty. It was filled with chicken and it... No, it wasn't. It was potato. What? It, it, I'm pretty sure it was potato. I'm pretty sure it was chicken. I can't remember now, but we'll link it up. Yeah, I think okay. it was. I, I think it was potato. Pretty sure it was chicken, and we had like um, caramelized onion over it as well. Well, they've got caramelized onion. The only thing I'd say is that it was a bit like if you're not used to what a dumpling tastes like, it can be a bit like slimy. 
but Arthur, outside. I, the outside, but I thought it was like really tasty. It was super flavorful, like the meat. It, I think it was meat. It was chicken. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm -hmm. Potato, quark and onions. Quark. Usually they serve with chopped fried onions on the top. That's one thing that even me in Germany, like we've never eaten before since coming here. I never used to eat quark. It, for me, it, it's a new thing. Like I, I, I love it because you get the high protein quarks, which are really good. But that looks and so really yummy. On the side. You can also find pierogi filled with meat and vegetables, sauerkraut and mushrooms, as well as berries. My I think I so what I've seen with with initially, you, like they, like she's saying, you can either have it with like veggies, potato, vegetables, or with meat, and some of them. Or actually dessert as well. They put it with like berries. Yeah. Favorite one are the first mentioned. Not even the meat that, can be that the excellent like exactly potato what we quark had. filling. Goomki, which you translate to pigeons, are made from boiled cabbage leaves wrapped around a filling of. It looks like a meatloaf. Like see, it, like, like a like a meatloaf with like a sauce. Yeah. Minced pork or but beef, it's chopped cabbage. onions and rice. Look at that. I think it will be pretty tasty. It looks like a tomato -y sauce. Mm. It looks a bit... Not a good video to watch when you haven't uh, had breakfast yet. I'm, I'm, uh, it's making me hungry. It bit. is really making me hungry. Usually, they're served with tomato sauce on the side. Poles also have Christmas version of Goom. Wow. That mm. is made from mushrooms and cooked rice. We come from South Africa, as we've said in other videos. So home-cooked meals are very big for us. I love a hearty, warm cooked meal like my mom made the really really amazing south african meals and uh it gives me that like vibe like these these polish yeah, meals polish meals are a lot more hearty yeah meat vegetables and like a starch yeah which is my favorite important soup to mention is zurek okay. the soup is made from zurek soup made from sourdough so it looked like it's got a some bacon in there. It looks like, egg. like a more of a meat, like a... It looks like samp. Samp and beans? Oh, yeah. I think it could be that, but it's made from sourdough. Sourdough, smoked bacon, boiled sausage, egg bacon. and potatoes. Zurek is traditionally eaten potatoes. for Easter, but it's also popular in other times of the year. Looks tasty. The soup is thick it and has does. a sour taste. I love I, it. I think the other thing is I'd want my egg yolk to be a bit more runny. I would not want egg. <laughs> Another traditional dish that has to be mentioned is bigos. Mm. Bigos is a cabbage. I've, wow. I've seen this in a lot of videos of Poland, and it looks amazing. Like they take a bread, like a roll or like a like a round roll, and then they empty it out and they fill it with like the sauerkraut and cabbage too. And then you like dip the other. Normally, you can dip the bread in it. I would devour that. Stew made from sauerkraut, cabbage, wow. and different kind of meats. At my home, it was usually served with bacon and fried sausage. We two versions contain beef wow. and pork cubes as well. I mean, look at all the flavor. Look at all the spices that they put in there. I think you've got bay leaf there, paprika. Looks, I don't even know what the what that is, but there's, 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 there's so many spices. I think that's what gives Polish food its unique, hearty, warm soul food. It's just all the spices they go into and makes it taste better. They're not shy to spice up the food. Well, it's mushrooms. Potato pancakes with sour cream are very popular in Poland. I am aware of the fact. I mean, like, wow. It looks like. It like this video is like to get me. Potato pancake. It looks like a hash brown. Isn't that basically. An it looks like a hash brown. Is it a hash brown? Potato pancakes. Like, what else is a hash brown? I think it is a hash brown. It looks like a hash brown and it's got like a, look at it, it's like a cream like topping. That looks very tasty. Yeah. That this is the national dish of Belarus and that they are very well known in East and Middle Europe. But I think I that. that the way they serve National in Poland is very particular. In Poland, potato pancakes are half centimeter thin and the potatoes are very finely grated, what gives them the fantastic texture. They are crispy from outside and... Okay. That... The crispier, the better. That's all I'll say. It's like half a centimeter thick. Half a centimeter, so it's obviously deep fried then it gets really crispy looks very tasty. As you can see it looks crispy there. Oh my goodness. Texture. They are crispy from outside and soft mm. from inside. Usually they serve with sour cream on the side or beef stew. Cotlet de volaille is fried chicken filled with butter or cheese, coated with flour, eggs and breadcrumbs. 
The dish, despite French name, has been developed in Russia and came to Poland after... It looks like a chicken corn bleu. Yeah. Like fried chicken and then it's got like something filling. filling in the middle. And you can't go wrong with mash. Second World War. Just look how this cheese melts. Damn. That looks like a chicken corn bleu. On the side you can see traditional Polish cucumber salad, Miseria. Miseria is made from slice or grated cucumbers, sour cream, spiced with salt, pepper, that over like, dill, over like vinegar a, a and stew. Sugar. The mixture is very refreshing and usually served with breaded pork tenderloin and potatoes. Rosso is rich liquid made of water in which bones, wow. meat and metal. vegetables has been simmered. Almost looks like a Vietnamese type noodles um, with like a clear liquid. Looks very good. The broth is served as a starter on every Sunday in Silesian families, followed by filled rolled beef served with potato dumplings. The rolls are filled with pickled cucumber, mustard. I'm and always starting to feel like maybe we don't know what good food is. <laughs> like maybe you saw the African food. Is... Look at all that. Look. Wow. Red cabbage. So I love red cabbage, but that's like dumplings and a piece of meat. I mean, oh, smoke. It actually looks similar to what we had actually in the Czech Republic. We had something like that, that uh, beef roll. I don't. Know, I think it's like a beef roll, a roulade bacon cubes. My grandmother secured the rolled meat with a strand. Now that looks like that looks like a traditional Sunday so, it looks like a traditional Sunday meal for me. Absolutely. Like it's probably something that you go and eat on like a Sunday or a weekend with the family. We had to be careful not to eat it. The list of traditional Polish dishes is long. Therefore I couldn't include all of them in this video. I think that all the dishes mentioned are a great start for you to discover Polish cuisine. If you are looking for traditional Polish recipes, please. I think like, that's a really good video that gives you probably the summation of the top best foods to, to eat in Poland. Like, I don't know about you, but like, I'm super hungry after watching that. And I don't know, is, is that the, the dishes in Poland? Like, what would you say? Like, do you think that those are good starters to have on your trip to Poland? And also, if you can recommend another dish that we need to check out, please comment down below. I'm off to Poland, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go book a flick of bucks ticket quickly.